In the fast-paced world of ride-sharing, few companies have made as significant an impact as Uber. Although today, we're not just talking about a company, we're exploring a moment in time that took Uber and its then CEO, Travis Kalanick, on a roller coaster of public opinion. The controversy surrounding Travis Kalanick's involvement with Trump's advisory council stirred many a backlash for Uber and it put them in the center of the storm in public opinion. My analysis is based on publicly available information and news reports surrounding the events. I have also I also have credibility through Uber as I use their apps and services every other week, I'd say. To understand the impact of this scandal better, we will explore the sequence of events that led up to it, the public's reaction, and the ultimate repercussions that led to Travis Kalanick stepping down as Uber CEO. <clears throat> Travis Kalanick's appointment to Trump's advisory council in early 2017 set the stage for controversy. The decision was met with immediate backlash as critics argued that it contradicted the values and diversity that Uber had and was associated with. The public questioned the ethical implications of aligning the company with a political figure known for its controversial policies. So how exactly did this change the public's reaction? The news of Travis Kalanick's affiliation with Trump's council didn't stay in the boardrooms. It hit the streets, social media, and the very core of Uber's user base. The hashtag delete Uber movement gained a ton of momentum, sparking a public outcry. So how exactly did this impact Uber's image and daily operations? This uproar caused thousands to uninstall the app, expressing their dissatisfaction with Uber's alignment with policies that were inconsistent with the values that they, have, they were based upon and made their operation upon. This public outcry underscored the power of consumer sentiment in today's interconnected world. Under the mounting pressure of public discontent, internal turmoil, and a growing number of resonations within the company, Travis Kalanick decided to ultimately step down as the CEO. The controversy not only affected Uber's reputation, but also highlighted the challenges tech companies face nowadays while navigating the intersection of business and politics. The CEO, who was the face of the company, was also a person facing the consequences of the choices he made. In today's world, everything you do and commit to will be seen by almost everyone. You might not think what you're doing is gonna have consequence at the time, but nowadays you need to always be cautious. In summary, the controversy surrounding Travis Kalanick's association with Trump's advisory council led to a sequence of events that I'm sure he did not plan on. He received widespread backlash from majority of the public, which ultimately led to his resignation as Uber's CEO. This incident should not go unnoticed. Companies and employees should take note of how the public reacted to this situation and how they could react to a similar situation involving another company that you could be involved in. As Uber is moving forward, the lessons they learned from this chapter and its history should guide future decisions ensuring that the company remains aligned with the values and expectations of its driver base. Thank you.